Well, hello ladies, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're going to start off this tutorial with moisturizing my face. And you all know I'm using the Believe a Hydra Aqua Balm. And I love moisturizing my face, it makes it for a smooth canvas. Then I'm applying my L'Oreal Primer, which is the Pore Banisher. And it's a drugstore and it works wonders in filling in my pores. And I'm just pretty much blending it all over my face. And I'm going in with this LA Girl HD, HD Concealer, HD Pro Concealer. And this is what I'm doing is I'm just putting pretty much where I broke out or just have redness around. And then I'm going in with their corrector. This is their um, Pro Concealer HD High Definition Concealer, but it's their corrector. And I'm applying that under my eyes because I have very, very dark eyes. Now I'm mixing two foundations, and the one I'm mixing is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation with the uh, Make It Forever Ultra HD Foundation. And I'm just mixing it just to get that perfect color, but no specific reasons why I'm mixing these two. I just find them very, very good, both of them. And I just see they work well together. And now I'm blending it all out with the Real Technique uh, makeup sponge, actually. I love blending my makeup with the Beauty Blender because it actually applies it flawlessly and it just gives it such a smooth finish. And then I let my foundation sit with, and then I do my eyebrows. And now I'm moving on to the Sigma Warm Neutrals palette. And I'm going to be using four colors. And I'm gonna start off with the that one right there which is called Optimistic. And I'm going to grab a small shader brush and I'm going to be applying that to the crease of my eyes. Just the same shape my eyes have. So I'm doing sort of like a cut crease you would say but a little bit on the softer side. And uh, as you would do an eyeliner sort of thing. Just trying to get that shape of the same, the same shape I have on my eye. So I'm just pretty much a packing on color and blending it upwards just to apply that color as pretty much my transition color. So after that I move on to the darker color and this color is called, if I can see it, I'm going to leave it down below because I can't really see what's the name of this color but I'm actually doing the same thing right now that I did with the other color but I'm just pretty much going to I intensify the look with that color and the color is Ross, Russell, Russell, something like that. So that is just pretty much that deep burgundy one and I'm just pretty much using this one to make my look a little more intensified, make it a little more sultry, make it a little more smoky, all that good stuff. I'm just blending. The key point here is to blend, blend, blend away all the harsh lines. So I'm just cleaning my outer edges so it doesn't look too much. And then I'm going in with that top color, that's going to be my lip color, and that's called Oyster Sand. It's a very light, purpley, plummy color, I would say. And then the key here again, like I said, is to blend, blend all the colors together and make sure they blend well. And I'm just pretty much going back in and intensifying anything if I need to intensify. And then I use the Sugar Milk to use as my brow bone highlight. Then I'm moving into my liner and I'm using the NYX liquid liner, uh, gel liner, I'm sorry. And I'm actually putting that in my waterline and in my eyes just to pretty much make the color my eyes a lot darker. And now I'm going in. So now I'm going in to make my wing cat eye sort of look and I'm using the Jewel Cosmetics Kitten Liner which I find that it's really dark and it's so easy to apply because it has such a precise point. And I'm just pretty much lining out my eyes and making it as dark as possible and just pretty much making it the way I wanted, the thickness and longest. And it showed here but I went back in with my NYC liquid liner to darken up the liner. And here I'm applying my mascara and I'm using the Wet n Wild, I think it's Volume Express or something like that. <laughs> I don't have it with me, excuse me. And I'm just putting on a lot of coats of mascara since we're not applying lashes in this look. And then I'm going with my Honey, which is Velvet Noir by Marc Jacobs and oh my god this mascara is bomb and then I'm going for concealing and I'm applying the Marilyn Better Skin Concealer and everywhere where you already know that you must conceal and you must highlight and Beauty Blender and I'm just blending dabbing dabbing blending away making everything lighter and more beautiful every time you wear your 
concealer just makes your makeup look like okay now it looks like a makeup look and here I'm not baking it's just I'm applying my loose powder and I just love applying it like that I'm not baking I just applying um, powder on top and I'm going into setting my powders um, I'm sorry my concealer with the Anastasia contouring kit the first one that came out and I'm using that banana color and then that powder color and I show you the NYX contour and highlight palette because that one is also a cheap, alter cheap alternative for this one and pretty much just setting powders <clears throat> and I'm actually using this one for the to contour and of course contour every area of the face where you have to contour we already know this we've gone through this you guys have seen makeup tutorials doing the same thing over and over again we don't have to explain and of course always blend you don't want hard lines here I'm using the Milani um, blush pow uh, powders and this one is in the color passion rose and I'm just applying a little bit. It's closest to that transition color that we place in our eyes. So it kind of makes it look like, oh, okay, there's there's something going on. And then I'm using this palette by Tarte, which is Rainforest After Dark. And I'm using the highlight, which is bomb. It's not a yellowish finish. It's just pretty much highlight. And yes, apply the highlight where you need to highlight. And what I'm saying here is that the same thing that you did to the top of your eyes, you know, your lid and your crease, you're going to do to the bottom part of your eyes. So the transition color first and then the deep burgundy to darken the eyes and make it look a little more on the smoky side. And then I'm applying the Gerard Cosmetic, um, I think it's called Audrey, highlight and I'm highlighting the inner corners of my eyes. And then of course mascara on the bottom lashes. And for lips, I'm using the ColourPop Liquid Lipstick and this is in the color Tuffle. It's a beautiful deep burgundy brick color I am absolutely obsessed with this color so just be very careful they are very dry at first when you apply them so you gotta apply quick and uh, here you go this is my completed look I hope you guys like it um, it's simple for me it was simple <laughs> easy to do sort of like a burgundy dip color if you want for Valentine's Day besides the red so I hope you guys like it Thank you so much for sticking till the end. I'll see you ladies on my next video. Bye.